Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. This one is the Insidious Waters Raves Prize Advice video or what to get video. Make sure you watch all the way through because I'm going to go over several different categories. So the first prize you're going to see here is the new stuff for the Forsaken Mission. Now, next raid is going to be, again, Assault. The one after that is going to be Skirmish. And again, the Forsaken Mission will stay Garrison. And as I've always said, the Forsaken Mission is the most important th aspect of the game. You want to catch up through the Forsaken Mission. The new tech that's available is the new, new ship, new weapon, new special. And those are the first three items I recommend getting. Those are going to be worth a combined 4 million points. If you can at all get that, that's what I recommend you go out and do to catch up. And even to just stay current in the game, you need to complete the Forsaken Mission. The target's going to be changing eventually fairly soon so you want to make sure you have those items to catch up you can also get the new limited explosive battery and that's going to help out and make your ship slightly better you, it's slightly better than the siege battery there's also some other tech on there that i think is important you have some non-limited items like the sprint countermeasure combustion system and countermeasure loaders those are all good items to have on your ships and also getting the limited countermeasures of missile defense system 3 and gale system 4 and even some Gale 3s potentially, are good things to go ahead and try getting because I'm probably going to use at least 5 Missile Defense System 3 of my fleet and at least 5 Gale Defense System 4 of my fleet. If you can't afford those points because you're a lower level, I recommend getting the Inferno Dragon. So on this slide, the takeaways from this, if you can get 4 million, get the new stuff. If you can't, get the Inferno Dragon and some tech to go with it to stay current. I would only recommend the flagship for the Inferno Dragon, the Greta's Inferno Dragon. If you already have four built, I wouldn't recommend starting that as a new build because if you can get three million for that, you can probably go ahead and get that Praetorian instead. Moving on to my next slide, it's various assault tech. Next raid is going to be assault very similar to this, this one, and that's going to be the last raid in this assault cycle. So I recommend either getting one of two paths the left path here with the nemesis x which is what i have gone or the right path with the saturn which is what other people have gone it really doesn't matter which one but because i've gone nemesis x i recommend you do as well so you can follow that more closely now whichever path you want to go on you want to get that hole the flagship if you're able to as well as the special and weapon that come with it um, which i've shown here below you have the scatter gun and the charged corrosive canisters or the missile D-76 assault missile and the Prometheus missile system. And I also put in carbon fiber ca casing for the Nemesis and the scatter system for the Saturn. Now, regardless of which path you want to go, with path you go, you're going to want to get the assault battery MKCOM for either one of those and Allo Armor COM3. COM4 does exist in the game, but I don't know if... You can get that where you can get that because it's not available in the raid. So recap from this slide, pick left path or right path and get everything in the middle also. Um, don't worry about the flagships too much. You don't have to build those. They just tend to help out a little bit. And you can also get upgrade kits for these holes in the, in the very bottom section, which I'm not sure I recommend because it's just a lot of extra build time. And if you don't have this stuff yet, you're most likely catching up and not being able to go out and spend a bunch of upgrade tokens, a bunch of upgrade kits to upgrade your ships. Last slide here, there's some all around useful stuff. There's some things that I recommend getting in this raid if you can. Um, there's things I've put on the slides before, like Sprint Countermeasure or the Combustion System 2. Those are useful, but I've already have them in the Garrison tab. So for all around useful stuff, I Siege Targeting for Speed System 6, those are both good things that are on most builds in probably half of the different cycles that we see in the game, plus the Forsaken Mission. Also, we have Agility System. That's a fairly good limited one that some people have liked to use in various things. And I would just recommend having five of those. If you're a player who can have five in stock at all times, you have enough points, I'd go ahead and do that. Finally, Narrow Firing Aperture. While yes, it intends to boost corrosive damage, you can also just use it to boost splash and put that on some Forsaken Mission builds if you don't have other splash increasing specials. And the very last thing is there are some tokens which you can get for the Nemesis, Saturn, or Manticore. Those all exist in the raid and you can get them if you want to. 
So just to recap from the first slide, you want to get the Praetorian, the Pylum Rocket, Gala Defense System. Those are the top three things you want to get. From the Assault System, if you don't have an Assault Class fleet built yet and you already got the new Forsaken Mission stuff, go ahead and pick the, either the Nemesis or the Saturn and Associated Tech. And just finally look through at the very bottom. And these are just some items that I recommend getting. Again, tokens are optional, but I think they help. So if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like and if you want more Battle Pirates videos, make sure you go to YouTube, type in Derpy the Cow, subscribe. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.